take us to the Ambron MB150BG glove box. It has a freezer option and it has a cryo trap option. Well, just coming right down, we'll start here from how you, how you set your pressure. You have a foot switch here. You can add pressure by pushing on the right. Low pressure. I'm using the vacuum pump on the left. Make sure I have that pump on. See we're at positive pressure here now, so the gloves are sticking out. You can adjust your range by adjusting your DMR low and high settings. And you can see now the vacuum is on, so you're pulling the nitrogen out of the box until it gets into the range. I'm going to bring that down even lower. It'll pull the gloves all the way in. If you notice over here we have a uh, O2 monitor hooked up to the system. This is our house unit that we use to verify that the system is operational. That's creating the oxygen parts per million. We're just under one right now. As you see, as the gloves are getting pulled in, we have a uh, slightly negative pressure inside the box. And we see that there's no increase of oxygen. So what I'll do is I'll Generally run it at just just around zero is ideal. So again I can set my range and using the foot pedal I can add nitrogen to the box. Down here we have our circulator on off. The circulator is on right now. I'll explain that and I'll show you where it's at in the back. And then we have a regeneration programmer. This is where you're going to use your 5% uh, hydrogen, 95% nitrogen forming gas to do a regen. This takes about 16 hours once you hit the start. Oh, in order to start, you do have to have the circulator off. I'll shut the circulator down for a minute. You see, once you start the program, it's going to run all the way through all this takes about 16 hours. And what that'll do is it'll regenerate your uh, filter media there, your uh, molecular sieve and copper pellets. It'll regenerate and allow you to have a fresh uh, bed inside your purifier. So let's go ahead and turn the circulator back on. To the right here, you can see this is our freezer unit here. Our compressor for the freezer. This compressor has been replaced and the Freon has been, been leak checked and the Freon has been put in. We have our main power for your freezer units here. We have your on-off switch. So if you look inside, I'll show you the freezer unit. Got a reach in, open the door. It has a few shelves in there. Here's your temperature controller. Here, I have it set at uh, minus 30 Celsius right now. I'll introduce a uh, temperature monitor later, and we'll, we'll see that the uh, temperature is at approximately minus 30 C. Okay, up top here we have our. Uh, this is part of your cryo trap. So it's, it's bringing the uh, gas from inside the box out through the, through the line in the back and into a cryo trap on the side. I'll show you that later. But that's to help in, uh, take out some of the moisture by using liquid nitrogen. So let's start here. Here's our vacuum pump. Now this runs off of 110 and we have it plugged in uh, to our outlet here. We're not using anything inside the box. Here's our blower. Our circulator is right here. And here's our purifier. The media inside the purifier has been replaced. And again, you use the molecular sieve and uh, the copper sieve, which is going to take out your, your water vapor and your uh, O2. And again, this can be regenerated. 
So the flow is outside the box through the purifier, through the blower, and then through this uh, heat exchanger here. So we have two lines being connected to a chiller here, running at about 20 Celsius, just to, to cool down the gases as being pushed through the uh, blower here. It does pick up a little heat, and this will cool it down. And while we're back here, here's our uh, outlet for our, uh, we're monitoring our O2. Uh, o using the Delta FO2 analyzer. So the gas is being pulled through this line through our analyzer. It's being sampled at about one liter per minute. We have a connection here for a regeneration gas. And this only needs to be in place and when just prior to starting your regen. And then here we have our uh, working gas, which is our nitrogen. And this is used to open these valves here. And any valve that is used for a uh, is pneumatically operated. You're going to need uh, about 90, 80 to 90 PSI on that. And it's also used to purge the box, add nitrogen inside the box. Here's our cryo trap line that I talked about. We have the uh, blower inside. It's blowing out through this line and to the side. We'll walk around the side here. Okay, this is your trial trap. You have valves on either side to open and close, so they're both open right now. And then what you do here is you pour liquid nitrogen in, and as the uh, gas flows through this line, so it comes from here across to the, back into the box, you'll freeze the uh, water vapor onto here, on the inside of the, uh, the trap here, you know, with the liquid nitrogen inside. And then what you'll do, do then is close this off. Once the uh, trap warms up, you can drain the uh, water vapor off from this line down here. So we'll just this off. And we're just uh, running this open right now with no liquid lighters. So you can see here's the line that comes out from the box. It goes down into here, into the purifier, then the blower, and then back into the box. These lines will probably be taken off for shipping, so you'll have to put them back on once you get them. Okay, this system has two anti-chambers, the large and the small, or the mini. We'll do the mini first. It's, uh, you have a valve here where you could, right now it's under vacuum, you could refill it, and what it does is use the gas from inside the box, it'll bring it back up to zero, which is your atmospheric pressure. And at that point, you can open your outer door. You can get, you can get small objects. You need to pass small objects through and use this port. And then once you place your object in there, you bring it inside the box, you can close it up. And it's recommended that you do suit, uh, three cycles of evacuate. So this is using a vacuum pump now to evacuate. And what you'd want to do is cycle that three times. You refill it, evacuate, refill. This is just to remove any of the uh, oxygen and water vapor out of the uh, mini anti chamber. So that when you open the inside door, which we can do it right now, as a matter of fact. Here. You can then open your inside door, bring your, bring your work in that you had placed inside there, and then close this back up. It's just a mini anti-chamber to bring something in, just a small size. I generally keep this under vacuum, so I'll just pull vacuum on that for now. Okay, then we have a microprocessor control lock chamber for your larger handy chamber here. And while we're here, I'll show you this is your on-off uh, switch for your cryo trap lower. We can go ahead and shut that off. Okay, so what we have now is we have a key switch here. In this direction, it's in manual mode. This is automatic. I'll go ahead and do a manual refill at this point. You can see we're under vacuum now. By hitting the refill button, 
it'll bring this large end chamber back up to atmospheric pressure. And you see it's bringing the gas from inside the box. And it's interlocked so that if you go out of your pressure range, it'll stop refilling and allow this to, the inside box to come back up to the proper pressure. So that's why you hear that cycling of the valves right now. And we do have a gauge here to show you what the uh, pressure is inside the antichamber. So it's making its way back up to zero. Okay, once the refill stops refilling, we know we're at uh, atmospheric pressure. We can go ahead and open the outer door here. You can see there's a shelf inside here. Slide it out and also slide into the glove box. So, what I'll do is I'll put my temperature monitor in my T-GAM. Alright, I'm going to bring my T-GAM, which is my thermal coupling gauge temperature monitor. Put this on the shelf. We're going to bring that in so we can look at the freezer temperature. Close up the shelf. Close the outer door. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to auto. We have it set at, uh, it's going to pull down at just below 0 0.2 millibar. And it's going to do three cycles. Again, we have a manual here that will explain exactly how to use this. Now this is going to take uh, maybe five or ten minutes. So what, what I'll do is I'm just going to begin the auto cycle, which is going to be three evacuate refills until we get a gas signal here that indicates that it's complete. So we'll go ahead and hit start on that. And you can see it begins evacuating. Okay, we're still in the first cycle. And I just want to show you that we are refilling here. So it did make it past the uh, 0 0.2 millibar. Okay, here's part of the evacuation cycle. You can see the uh, vacuum is going down. Now, in the crossover at around 0 0.3, to adjust that pressure uh, where you want the crossover, you would adjust this pot right here. Okay, we got the gas light now, and what I'll do is I'll just take it out of auto. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, bring the uh, temperature gauge in. I'll just open the inner door, and again, you can see your shelf here. It slides in. And we'll just close this up. Now we do have a 110 outlet inside here. I can use that to uh, connect up my gauge. Okay, here's our TGAM with our TC here, thermal couple J type. And we're going to go ahead and stick that in the freezer. You can see it's at room temperature now. Okay, while well, we're waiting for the temperature to stabilize on the TC, I just want to explain we do have a, the uh, quick release option here. And this allows you to take the glass out uh, without having to undo any screws. And the way to operate that is you, you would just pull on these. It can be a little difficult to get these apart, so you can see they, uh, they will pop open. And then make sure you push them all the way down until they click.
So you can see we're at minus 27 now. And we'll wait for that to stabilize and we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, while we're waiting for the freezer to stabilize, what I want to do is introduce a little bit of oxygen into the system. And then uh, we'll monitor the O2 uh, analyzer and we'll see that the O2 is being removed by the purifier. And the way I do that generally is I'll bring down the uh, inside glove box to slightly negative. Okay, minus 5 millibar. Then what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll refill my mini anti chamber. I'm gonna open the outer door here. So now we do have a uh, outside air being flown through, flowing through the mini anti chamber through the refill line, since we do have a negative pressure inside the box. Okay, let's close that off. I don't want to put too much oxygen in. But if you look, we'll go ahead and look at your. Uh, Okay, now I put it back to normal operation. What I'll do is put a slightly positive pressure on this now. It's not necessary, this should clear out. And we'll come back in five minutes and take a look again at the freezer and yoke too. About 10 minutes and you can see our freezer's stabilized at about uh, minus 33 Celsius. And looking at our oxygen content, it's, it's already come down to 5.7 and dropping.